Hey there, welcome back. In case we haven't met yet, my name is V and I love to code the heck out of Squarespace and teach other designers how to do it too. Today's tutorial is inspired by a question that I got from a club member a while ago. He was wanting to know if there was a way to separate the social icons, like adjust the distance between the social icons inside the header of 7.1 without modifying the space in between the links of the navigation. Now, if you've tried to do this before through the settings of the header, you already know that there's not really a way to separate both things individually. So depending on the value that you want to use, this could be a problem. But in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how you can use a quick CSS trick to be able to modify the space in between those social icons without affecting anything else in your header. If this is something that you want to learn how to implement on your current project, then make sure to keep on watching to learn how to make it happen. So here I am in Squarespace 7.1 site, and as you can see, I have a couple of social icons inside my header. Now, if you've tried to tackle this modification before, you already know that there's not really a way to make this happen through the settings of the header itself. So if I were to go in here, and then I try to modify the space in between the social icons separately from the one that we have in between the items of the navigation, there's not really a way to make that happen. So if I go into my desktop layout and then here play around with the link spacing slider, you're going to see that this slider is going to affect both types of links. So the problem mainly arises if you want to have sort of like a bigger spacing in between your links in here, but you actually want to keep the social icons close together. Luckily, there's a way to make that happen with CSS. So let's go ahead and take a look. I'm going to save it as it is. And then we're going to inspect in here to see how those elements are being separated at the moment to see what we can do to modify that space. So here you can see that I landed directly on a container that is holding all of my social icons. If we open this one up, we're going to see that we have each of the individual social icons as an A element. Now, if we stand over any of these social icons, you're going to see that there's a little bit of a chunky margin to the left side of all of them. And then if we click on any of these social icons, you're going to see that that margin on the left shows up in here inside this snippet. Now, to be able to override this margin, we pretty much have two options. The first one would be to reuse the exact same snippet that Squarespace is using to be able to point to the social icons and then modify that margin left value. And the other one would be to create our own selector to be able to do the same thing. However, looking at how specific this selector is, because I want this customization to be able to apply to the social icons, regardless of the type of layout that we're using in the header, and regardless of the style of the icons that we're using, I think it's going to be best if we build our own selector. So let's go ahead and do that. The first thing that we need to do is target the same thing that is currently carrying the margin at the left. So in this case, that would be these elements. So let's go ahead and just select one of these classes to be able to apply the customization to this particular element. So I think we can go with either icon, icon fill, or even Heather icon. I think I'm going to go with this one, Heather icon. Let's go ahead and grab that one. I'm going to skip the other ones because you can see here that these ones include a little bit of detail regarding the type of shape that that social icon is using, whether it has a circle shape or not, and whether it's using the outline or not. So that means that if you were to use something different in your own site icons, the code is not going to work. So my idea here is to try to make this as versatile as possible without having to adjust the code. So I'm going to grab this Heather icon class and that is going to be my target container. Now we could keep this selector as simple as it is right now because this is referring to the icons inside the header and there are not really any other types of icons except for the cart icon inside the header. So this could potentially work, but I still want to make this a little bit more specific. So let's go ahead and look for a different class. I'm just going to look through the different parent containers to see which other class I can grab. So if we look into the direct parent container, we can see that there are a couple of additional classes in here. We have Heather Action actions action and Heather actions action social. I actually think I'm going to include this one because this is going to help us narrow things down to the icons inside or that correspond to the social part of the Heather. So I'm going to grab that class and include it in here. So now our selector is a little bit more specific because it's going to target the icons inside that sort of social area of the Heather. So if we were to have a cart icon in there that may carry this same class of Heather icon, 
that one is not going to be modified because it's not inside this same social accounts container. So now that we have this in place, let's go ahead and modify that left margin. So I'm going to set the margin to the left side to, let's say, I don't know, something fairly small. So maybe like 10 pixels. And now the thing to keep in mind in here is that because our selector is much less specific than the one that Squarespace is using, we are going to have to use the important rule in here to be able to overwrite that value. So let's go ahead and include that in here. And just like that, you can see how now the social icons have gotten closer together while the rest of the links of the navigation stay further apart. Now, one thing I do want you to notice is that this has also affected the space for the left margin of this first icon that we have here. So if you don't want to modify the space in between these two things, what we can do is skip that first element and just leave the margin that this was carrying through the header settings. So in order to exclude this first icon from here, what we need to do is use the not selector. Now to be able to use the not selector, we need to make sure that we're targeting the first element that we have here or the one that we're going to include. But in this case, that would be the first one. We need to target the first header icon that we have in here and exclude it from this selector so that the margin at the left doesn't get modified. So to be able to do that, we need to target that header icon and then we need to exclude by using the not selector, whichever icon it is that we want to exclude. So like I said, in this case, that would be the first child. And just like that, you can see how now the margin to the left side of that first icon doesn't get modified and we still have enough space in between the navigation items and this first icon. Well, these margins do reduce because of this 10 pixel that we have added in here. And now let's go ahead and save this and take a quick look on mobile to see if we need to modify anything. So here, if I open up the overlay menu, we can see that the space in between the social icons is actually pretty good. Although if you wanted to modify this, let's go ahead and take a quick look to see how we can make that happen. So here we have the header menu actions. And then inside that we have all of the different divs that are holding the social icons. And now these ones have a margin set here of 15 pixels and 7.5 pixels. So if you wanted to modify the space to the sides of these icons, then what we can do in this situation is reuse this selector that we have in here, which is targeting Heather menu actions action. And this one corresponds to mobile only. So it's not really going to do anything for desktop. So we can go ahead and just reuse that and then just modify the margin to the sides. So let's go ahead and do margin. We can keep the same margin at the top. So I'm going to keep margin 15 pixels and then to the sides, let's go ahead and do maybe like 2.5 pixels. There we go. And just like that, you can see how we can modify the spacing in between social icons for mobile separately from how we can do it for desktop. All right, my friend, and that's everything that I have for you today. I really hope that you found this CSS trick helpful. If you did, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on future content, and I will see you next time.